Today's fishing adventure is a little bit different to the norm for me. I am so jealous when week after week I look at all the pictures uh, and stories in the angling papers and on the various feeds online of people going river fishing. Now in Cornwall we don't have much in the way of river fishing and as far as course fishing goes we've got nothing. Um, I've never even seen a barbell in my life let alone caught one so those of you lucky enough to be fishing for them week in week out I am so jealous of you. However there is right on the border of Cornwall as in Devon is 10 paces that way and Cornwall is well I'm stood in it still. Um, there is that fish that kind of walks that fine line between coarse fish and game fish. Um, it's known as the lady of the stream and just about one of the most beautiful fish that swims in, in any freshwater in, in the UK. And that is of course the grayling. Um, so I've come to a river today which is right on the border, won't be hard to work out which one it is. Um, and I'm going to have a go at catching myself a grayling. It's a stretch of the river where I'm actually allowed to use trotting tactics rather than um, the traditional fly fishing tactics, which is what these rivers are typically um, targeted with for the salmon and the sea trout and the brine trout. Um, so it's a little bit different. Uh, the, water looks, the water looks pretty coloured actually, um, but that's fairly typical of this river. Um, it's carrying a little bit, of, little bit more flow than perhaps I really would have liked, but there's a kingfisher sat in the bush just there that's just flown in there a moment ago um, that's got to be a good sign so got the rod ready I've got my centre pin ready um, really looking forward to it let's go and see what we can catch so I found a really nice little steady glide in the river here um, and rather than just rush straight in believe me I'm desperate to cast as quickly as I can but rather than just rush straight in what I'm going to do is just feed a pinch of maggots um, every 60 seconds into the top of the glide and uh, let's see if we can point it in through here the top of the glide no I can't do it the top of the glide's about there and it's running down past me that way um, so I'm going to feed a pinch of maggots for about every 60 seconds uh, for the time it takes me to have my cup of coffee um, and if there's any fish in this glide hopefully rather than just going straight in and running a float and tackle straight through what I'm going to do is just feed it little and often see if I can stir in some life and uh, if there's any grayling there, hopefully those few maggots trickling through the swim will stir them into life. We'll find out in just a minute. There really is quite a lot of water in the river here today. Uh, more than I was expecting, I've got to be honest. You can see behind me it's really racing through. It's perhaps not classic grayling. Um, so what I need to do is use a little bit of watercraft and search the water. I need to find some deeper water um, and some slower water. I think that's probably where the fish are going to be hanging out. The first spot produced a couple of out of season trout. Um, great to get a bend in the rod but that's not what we're after. So uh, I think I need to keep searching and uh, keep looking for these, these deep pots of water. We've got to be here somewhere. So that's what today's been about, trying to find what they call the lady of the stream. Um, I was beginning to think we wouldn't get one at all, conditions are fairly terrible, but there's a little glide here with some really deep waters right under the bank, and that's where this fish was sitting. It's incredibly wiry fish, whoops, and this is, this is definitely a, male, uh, a female fish. The, um, the dorsal fin on this fish is less impressive than the male fish, but even so, they are a beautiful fish. And 
I'll just show you very quickly. It is a, a crossover between a game and a coarse fish, and there on the tail is what they call the adipose fin, uh, and that's sort of what a, a classic game fish would carry, a trout and a salmon, um, but the grayling also carry them as well. But definitely time to get her back. Result. Quick word on tactics then for, for the grayling fishing that I've been doing today. Starting with the rod, it's a 12 foot float fishing rod, nothing special about that. Um, the reel, I'm using a center pin reel. If you can get one, they are really the best thing to use for, for trotting. You've got ultimate control when you're moving the float through the swim, presenting your bait for the fish. You can definitely do it with a fixed ball reel and if you haven't got a center pin reel, don't panic. But if you have, this really is the place to use one. Then coming down to the business end, the float is, I'm using what's called a loafer float, okay? It's, uh, let's have a close up look at that. It's, it's a very buoyant float. This one carries just over two swan shot, two SSG shot, and um, with a nice clear visible tip. When you're presenting your bait, you want the, the, the shot almost on the bottom, and occasionally it's gonna be hitting the bottom. And if you use a really, really light float, it's gonna be pulling under the water all the time, giving lots of false indications. So go for a loafer or a, you know, a nice buoyant stick float, um, and that's attached to the line with a couple of rubber loops on the line. Then I come to my, my bulk shot. So I said this one takes just over two swan shots. There's a couple of quite chunky shots on there. And then I've got a size 16 hook with a couple of maggots for bait. Um, for loose feed, all I brought with me today is a pint of maggots and I've just been, as you've seen on the, uh, on the shots, just trickling a few into the swim, just at the head of the swim. Obviously they float down with the current and then you trot your bait down um, just with that bait at the same time. If you've got regular course fishing kit, you'll be able to have a crack at grayling fishing without a doubt. Just find yourself a nice river and uh, give it a go.